I'm well overdue starting a new series. I've been meaning to watch this for so long. I heard it was pretty good, and I just want to see what it's like for myself. Yo, he is a little. He grew quick, and he's outside naked. Quite the introduction to a show. People not like him? I really just like look at him as a laughing stock. Whoa. That was athletic. So he's no ordinary kid. I just learned that from how he jumped into the tree. Doesn't say much. He's the prince. What? A deaf king. Oh, he can read lips. I don't know how he can read that though, but that's obviously he's no ordinary kid. And now he's getting robbed. And then this guy takes his clothes. And that's when he walks back to the village. <laughs> You're doing the right thing. I. <laughs> Chill out. He can't even hear you. Boji. He's the third prince. So there's multiple princes in this show. Damn. So he's the underdog. I already want him to win. Uh oh. The way he just screams. <laughs> it's funny, he can interpret him well too. That's it! I'm an idiot! You really do get me. Yeah, I don't think he... Maybe that's a perk with being deaf. He's getting naked again. Ah, <laughs> eh. This is just adorable. Again, I didn't hear too much about like the show. I just know it's supposed to be good. So far though, Baji seems very adorable and compelling. This is a little too wholesome. It's him. He's the wholesome of the show so far. I'm so glad he can understand him. He got robbed again. Even the people of his kingdom don't know he's deaf? Well, no, they do, just not the kids. Maybe I'm looking too much into this, but his anatomy just looks different from the regular kids. Not just the fact that he's deaf, his head is a lot larger than the rest of his body. Queen Hill, mother of second prince died. Prince Baji's swordsman tutor. Oh, he also teaches sign language, I'm imagining. Oh, he's trying to cover for the little guy? The little guy. Whatever that thing is. We're just beginning and all of the odds are against him. So I imagine the other prince is like probably a prodigy or something and they're gonna have some sort of rivalry. So there's multiple queens and kings too. Cause she's the queen of another prince. But that's not Baji's mother. I imagine there's just one king though. As in, you know, multiple wives type. That's a strong kid. You're being tailed. The Shadow Clan. A lot of information in the first episode. Clan of Assassins, I heard they've been completely wiped out. Oh, so he's the last of their race. Oh, so this guy must have a real face. And he's just, like, moving in the shadow. Okay. I thought that was his form, but maybe it's not. I'm sorry, I'm, like, trying to come up with a bunch of assumptions. CGI. When I notice it, I notice it. When I just watch a show, I start asking myself a ton of questions. And as a reactor, might as well say them out loud. Oh, he's not small. His parents are just giants. So his mom's a giant as well. If that is his parent. They had to get out of there. 
if they could. He's dying. The first queen. Daida is the other prince. I'm glad the father, like, he doesn't seem like a dickhead. That's what I'm trying to say. He wants Baji to succeed just as much as he wants everyone else to. Especially Baji, I think, is what I'm trying to say. I thought it would be like everyone's against him, but no, his family is all for him. What is your true form? The Shadow Clan. The reflexes are crazy. That's an assassin, though. He escaped? Oh, this guy's gonna be a problem. Daida? He's pompous. Watch Dida be a dog. I can just tell by that confident voice. Yep, he's a badass. Yeah. How old is he? Oh, okay, never mind. He's not gonna kick his ass. But he does show skill, is what they're saying. <laughs> He's getting so excited. <laughs> nah, he did good. Yeah, they are. But his attitude doesn't match it. Wow. <laughs> He's gonna fight him. Nandayo. Nah, I think Baji's clean. Especially if he's being trained by that guy. Word gets around fast. Ah, this world is fresh though. Like, I have so much to think about already from the first episode. Like, between those brothers. How many are there? Is it just those two? Even the guy that's training him said Baji's no match. He did something clean. Okay, now nah, I got I got faith in Baji. Especially after that. They gave us the flashback. He'll be alright. But Dida's clearly tough. Why are they all surprised? Like they've never He dodged all the snakes. Oh my <laughs> Making him look silly right on the head. <laughs> This show shows a lot of promise. No character seems over the top tropey. The Shadow Clansman. In the beginning, it seemed like he was gonna be a character that took advantage of Baji. But instead, when he sees him cry, he starts slowly rooting for him. Because now he knows that Baji is aware of what people are saying and how it can affect him. But he still kept a smile on his face. Then he's deaf. Maybe that works to his advantage. Block out all the noise he doesn't want to hear. Not that he's heard noise in the first place, but my point is, if he wants to ignore you, he totally can. Dida seems like a hardworking prodigy who's trying to move a little too fast for his age. And when it doesn't work out for him, he gets very angry. But I, I can tell he genuinely works hard to be strong. Doma and other guy, the snake guy, I can already see parallels between them, the prince, and maybe the separate queens. But yeah, I mean, this felt like a breath of fresh air, honestly. I'm excited for the next episode. I kind of want to watch it immediately. And I just want to root for Baji. I don't even know who the antagonist or like what's gonna happen next but this this was dope